A picture says a thousand words, but what if we can't fully see that picture? To furthermore elaborate, the premise of communicating has now, or is starting to seem like it's starting to move from something that's more person to person relationship towards something that's more based on digitalization. So that means the only thing we can see is what the camera shows us. We are limited to any other factors, emotions that might be behind it. In our time of communication, Facebook works as an amazing catalyst or benchmark to further progress towards this digital uh, method of communicating. So this brings us to the concern. So in 2018, Mark Zuckerberg introduced an AI that would detect any anomaly in any sort of photo manipulation, anything that's not considered authentic in their eyes. According to The Verge, this test was successful. And that got me thinking, what is considered success? So according to Facebook, the success is something that's more statistical based. It has a 65.18 or 65.18% accuracy rate that was able to detect any deficiency or any sort of issues with the photos. And of course, that's statistically pleasing. But I think communication is a little bit more difficult to understand rather than just something that's statistically pleasing. So unlike a test question or a test answer, I felt there was not a single answer to this, but rather multiple factors that contribute to the bigger question. I decided to use or approach this using a discourse analysis, which allows me to look at different perspectives, not only the quantitative or the analytical, but the qualitative aspects that I believe are quite important to this cause. So this is where it leads me to question, what is deviance? It's just, deviance is a social construct, as we know, but for something to be labeled deviance, someone has to attach a sort of meaning towards it. So this brings me to the question, what is deviance? Deviance is a social construct, that's when it's basically is when it's someone that sort of deviates from social norms. So something, according to Facebook, detecting any anomaly and deleting it or removing it from the platform um, based on the fact that it could have a deviant meaning brings me, question, um, brings me to question what is deviant um, when it comes to photo manipulation? As we know, there are cheap fakes and there are deep fakes. Cheap fakes could be something as silly as just a Snapchat filter. But the fact is, what, from what it looks like, it's able to t detect any sort of manipulation and hence removing it. So with, with the statistics of it being 65.18% accurate, we lack to see if these replicates are social values, stuff like Snapchat. Is it deviant? And that, that's the only issue when it comes to statistics. It's unable to analyze a social factor. However, this could be a double-edged sword. So as we know, we all in real life have our own identity, carried by a passport or some sort of identification. We're able to identify each other. On the other hand, you do have an online identity when it comes to your digital footprint or something that you leave behind on Facebook. Everyone who uses Facebook would have their own profile. And this is how someone could, this is how you could easily identify someone. So the issue is crimes in real life exist. Stuff like identity theft, um, libel, uh, misrepresentations. All of these are something that could happen in real life. And all of these are traceable and they all have the tendency to come with a punishment, if you will. But when it comes to Facebook, how is moderation going to work? And what are the punishments? And is it severe enough? Remember that identity of someone and someone's credibility is significant to someone when they live within a social or cultural sort of aspect. One, if someone was to lose their credibility, this would cast them out of social norms and this would lead to more adverse effects. And with Facebook, they want to look at anything with a vindictive representation. What is this vindictive representation? And in a way, this is like neglect our way of freedom of speech, which is something that's very important to the way we communicate in our social lives. So it's important to understand what social norms and what the AI has to do and how they're interrelated. So it could be said that AI is to sort of manufacture human relationships, to mimic us. So in this sense, this is used to moderate and protect our social norms and our cultural norms to make sure no one really steps outside or deviates from that. So, so far from what I understand, the meaning of success should actually be based on the semantics of what meaning is. And so far, Facebook has not achieved this. 
more so they're more statistically sound when it comes to having um, having the consistency to figure out what has been manipulative but they have not fulfilled the second part of finding something that would be vindictive since it is a operating system and it is managing how is it able to keep track with all, any social norms or any cultural aspects it has no consciousness and it's so and it's programmed by an individual or even a group of individual but what makes us say that this device itself or this software itself is not bias because it's created by someone who may be biased. As human beings, we tend to communicate quite a bit. So having these platforms would actually further help with the public sphere and to help us further our conversation and help us promote cultural identity. But the issue with that is it sort of is a double standard or double, not double standard, but double effect or double sword, edge sword. The fact that you are able to easily communicate with someone also brings the possibility of easily manipulating something. The fact is we all don't have the same sort of thoughts like political leaders, favorite comics, favorite color, things like that. And what makes you think that people who have their own stance of filters would have the same thing? Some people actually find that it helps them and helps them feel better about themselves by editing their photos. But according to Facebook, that would be something that's deviant, even if it was for themselves. So here's where it gets a little bit messy. So in 2019, Mark Zuckerberg announced on the Facebook website that there, it was that Facebook was used to promote one's identity, social identity and expressions and freedom of expressions. The issue of this is that you actually with the AI, it's actually restricting one's ability to um, express one's identity with filters, stuff as, such as slimming filters or even something that would help with any blemishes on the face. This would be considered considered something that would be removed. And it's not only that. Not only does this go against this company policy, but there is also another company policy that is in breach in. This is the um, Privacy Act. So with the privacy, um, the only way for an AI to progress when it comes to facial recognition is using live data sets or actual photos. So that means that it's going to have to learn from live photos that people post and it's going to have to go through people's photos to actually determine whether or not it's fake. Is this truly something that helps promote someone's sense of privacy or integrity or is this here to help, um, or, is, or is this here to make things a little more difficult and more com uh, more difficult to understand? To conclude, I believe that AI should be living with us, not among us. And so far, look, it seems like it's living among us. It's actually creating more social norms and telling us what is right and what is wrong. The limitations with AI is it lacks a social conscience or the correct directives to actually truly comprehend what it's looking at. To the, um, to the software, the photo just looks like a whole bunch of ones and zeros rather than actually looking at the content, context or even content of what it's trying to provide. So from what I would conclude, I would conclude this as inconclusive as it only satisfies the, um, the quantitative aspect or quantitative or analytical aspect of it um, being accurate and successful. But it lacks more of the qualitative sort of things and the social factors that lead that helps build a better understanding of what communication really is. After all, communication is a social factor and it truly is determined by us and our own culture, our own with our own identity, with people we want to share it with. But nonetheless, Facebook has taken great steps to help, um, help counteract any negative or adverse effects with photo manipulation. It's just that they need a little bit more time to truly understand or truly try to determine or figure out how an AI could determine social factors and everything.